Hi friends, I'm Natasha from Travel and Tash and I just want to let you know uh, what I'm up to lately, what are some of the projects that I'm working on and it's my hope that by sharing um, my stories of what I'm up to that I can help motivate you to, um, to, to work on whatever it is that you're working toward as well. Um, so I've, I've got a few things going on right now. Um, right now. Right now I'm actually in the process of uh, preparing for a trip to Europe. I'm coming to Europe uh, in midsummer, so um, I'm going to be visiting my family in England and also my family in Spain. And, um, and it's my hope that I can also hook up with a few of my friends while I'm there. And, uh, and, and because I'm actually flying from Seoul to Italy, I'm going to actually be a few days in in Rome and hopefully uh, hopefully in Florence I'd like to get up to Florence as well so um, so yeah I've got um, a three-week break in Europe which I'm so excited about because I haven't been to Europe um, in coming up on three years now so it's it's time to get away from Asia for a little bit and and head back home and and so I'm in the process right now of just coordinating with friends and seeing you know who's available then I can meet and um, I recently booked all of the flights um, I'm in the process of uh, figuring out any of the hotels and stuff that I need while I'm in Rome and um, and the whole all of the planning stage is more or less tied up um, I just need to to book some final hotels for my final leg of my journey uh, when I get back from from northern Spain and fly back into uh, into Rome Anyway, um, so other than that, um, I've also been doing some casual modelling. Um, I met up with some models and photographers and we went up to a place um, in, in southern Seoul. And uh, we did, a, fo we did a, a photo shoot in a beautiful park and because the cherry blossoms were still out, it was gorgeous and just so much fun. It was just... You know, when I knew that they wanted to do a photo shoot in a park, I was just like, all right, yeah. You know, I just needed an injection of just being around some nature because um, I, I live in Gangnam and my, my, my local area is just such a concrete kind of block. And I just, I, I don't get to be in parks too often. And that's one thing that I really miss about living in Europe. Um, and that's not exclusive to Korea. That's, it's just my particular neighborhood of where I live in Seoul. Um, so anyway, yeah, it was a good opportunity to hang out, be with nature, touch trees, um, smell some blossoms, and uh, and meanwhile we'll just get to know some awesome people, get to know some some cool photographers that I haven't met before, and uh, and also I met a model called Fee from England, from Leicester, and she was really cool. So I was happy to actually meet you know another British lady, which is really really cool, and she seems really interesting as well. Um, and anyway, um. Other than that, today in particular, I've been working on my keto book. I finished actually writing the last recipe of my keto book uh, yesterday. And so today I'm starting to tie up all of the contents. And um, I, I'm also, essentially what I need to do is I'm, I'm in the process of uh, deciding which recipes should go at the beginning and which a recipe should tail off toward the end because it's a recipe book all about keto brunches and so I want to have some of my lighter um, some of my lighter breakfast style brunches at the beginning and some of the more heavier lunchy kind of um, uh, brunch styles toward the end of my um, recipe book it looks like right now it's going to be a total of 26 delicious recipes and uh, I have yet to write the conclusion to my book um, and um, and yeah I'm just firing off um, firing off some messages um, to friends to find out if anybody would like to um, make some of the recipes and actually photograph them um, because for copyright reasons I can't really um, I can't really use the photos of the recipes I've borrowed that I've put into my collage or my collection that's going to comprise my book. And so, um, yeah, it's, I mean, it's a great way to, to get my friends and family in on my project and, and also to credit them in the, in the book itself. Um, so my sister said to me that she wants to actually um, 
to cook some of the recipes and photograph them, which is fantastic. I'm really excited. And so, so I've sent her off a file today. Um, and so I've finally come up with a final list of the actual contents of my book. Um, and, and also I'm in the stage, um, this morning I was actually figuring out how I'm going to start marketing my book because I've learned a few things from my first book um, that I published back in January and so now I want to implement some of the things that I've been learning about how to market a book and begin doing that with this book so that I'm doing it the right way round. that I'm, I'm taking the lessons I've learned from the previous book and I'm applying it to when I'm getting ready to publish this one which I anticipate right now is going to be at the end of May. Um, I've also been, about two weeks ago, I was interviewed by Don McDonnell for Ever, Ever Living Dreams, which is essentially a documentary series that Don McDonnell is um, publishing and producing. And uh, it's all about, it's all about um, essentially um, giving people the chance to tell their story and, um, and essentially discussing what your future goals are, what are your goals that you're working towards, how are you doing it, you know, what challenges have you come up, what challenges have been, um, ch what challenges have made things difficult in the past and how are you getting over them, um, for the purpose of essentially encouraging people to know that, you know, if you're working towards something, there is help out there, there are people out there that are willing to help you and let's, you know, let's band together and, and create, um, basically I guess it's like a solidarity um, network where we can all encourage and motivate each other and um, and so I was recording for that a couple of weeks ago and um, following that um, I published an article actually um, which was um, um, it was all about my experience with Don McDonnell because I've, um, I've got a website travelintash.com and so I published an article recently following my experience and and, um, and what it felt like, I guess, to be within that particular um, recording session. And um, yeah, um, I Don also helped me um, last weekend to actually um, improve my YouTube channel, um, just to try and start to get it to look a bit more professional because I'm really a novice at all of this and I, you know, to be honest, I, I don't really know much about what I'm doing and so, um, so yeah, right now I'm trying to, to learn more about how to, how to put together a decent YouTube channel, um, including just like the presentation of it so when you click on my page as a new subscriber or as a new person looking for the first time, you know, that essentially there should be a video there kind of welcoming you to the page, uh, which I currently don't have right now, but hopefully will very soon. And, um, and also just stuff like, you know, the head, the header for your, um, for your YouTube channel, um, which should be nice and clean and, um, and it, it, you know, explicitly say more or less what you represent. Um, as well, I've been, um, Yesterday I wrote an article for my website, um, which I'm in the process right now of editing. And it's just all about get, how to get to know yourself better. And, and with the purpose of, you know, if you intend to be dating somebody anytime in the, in the future, um, the, it's actually a really, really, really good opportunity while you're single to actually learn about what your values are, to learn about what your beliefs are, to learn about what your love language is. Um, so that the partner that you end up picking will be somebody that adds value to your life rather than somebody that um, somebody that you might end up bickering with because you have differences in values and beliefs or significant differences. And so um, for me, uh, for me, this is a, a, a this is an article that's dear to my heart because self-discovery and learning how to love myself is something that I'm personally working on right now and um, yeah so I hope to publish that on Sunday because I um, my intention is essentially to publish a to publish an article every Sunday and then I'm also it's not a project per se but I'm involved in like a, a circle of people that read each other's articles and give each other feedback and comment on their articles 
um, the website, or I guess the Facebook page is called Bloggers in Korea. And in Bloggers in Korea, essentially what I do is I share the articles that I've been writing and I read articles uh, by other people and we all comment on each other's um, on each other's pages, on each other's websites, and on those particular articles. And it's an opportunity really to see what content other people are putting out, putting out there. Um, and also an opportunity for you to actually observe what other people are doing, um, what their website looks like. Um, and also stylistic things and formatting things um, so that you can hopefully begin to notice how to improve your website your own website and so um, anyway um, so those those are the projects that I'm working on right now and, and for, for right now my focus is actually going to be to work on um, work on improving um, improving my YouTube channel and working on my keto book because I really want to get that done anyway thank you so much for watching I'm gonna add some social uh, social media links in below so that you can um, can follow me elsewhere. Hit the bell button if you like my channel, if you like my content, so that you receive updates whenever I publish. And thank you so much. Bye.